right now time has come for us to pray and we're gonna pray for our city this is a very important time because Jesus is awaiting our prayer because God is waiting for your and my voice we are partners with God in this or on this earth God doesn't do anything on this in this earth without you or me being involved we are his hands we are his feet we are, we are his mouthpiece and today he is expecting you and me and he's expecting our prayer before we pray I want to share if you can lift up my mic just a bit I want to share a story from the Bible it comes from the story of Abraham so God comes to Abraham and says Abraham you know the city Sodom and Gomorrah yeah this city is bad they've done many bad things I hear that I hear the outcry from the city I'm going in and I'm gonna destroy that city so God so Abraham he begins to bargain with God he begins to talk with God because he knows his his uh, uh, his relative lot he is in that city and so he doesn't want him to be destroyed he begins to talk with God and say God what if there what if there's 50 righteous people will you destroy the city it's unlike you God you can't destroy righteous with unrighteous you can't destroy holy with unholy God says if there's 50 I will not destroy it he continues to bargain with God and he says what if there's 45 God says I won't destroy it what if there is 30 God says I won't do it what if there is 20 he said I will not do it he got down to 10 said God if what if there's only 10 will you destroy the city and God says no I will not destroy it and this is where Abraham stops they finish the conversation God leaves and God doesn't even find 10 people in Sodom and Gomorrah that are righteous and we know he even though by his grace he brings a lot of his family out but Sodom and Gomorrah is destroyed so there is two lessons that I want to I want to draw out of this story first of all God wants to know if you are concerned for the city God wants to know if you are concerned for the city that you live in today see God is here in this place his presence is here see Abraham he did not live in that city his personal safety and his personal well-being was not at stake it was his relative that was there but Abraham was concerned for the city he was concerned for his relatives and he was asking and bargaining with God to spare the city God wants to know today are you concerned for the city you live in today God wants to know do you carry a burden because this is the city that I live in this is the city you live in this is a city where your children live in this is the city where your parents where your family where your friends live in and God wants to know if you are concerned for your city if you're concerned that drugs are destroying our city if you're concerned that hatred and crime is tearing apart our city if you are concerned today that divorce is eating up our families are you concerned today that there is despite the advancement of the medical field there is more and more sicknesses and more incurable disease that are being discovered God wants to know are you concerned for the city does your heart care for those that are hopeless and lost those that are dying off of drugs and those that are popping pills because they're anxious and they're fearful and they're think they're, 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 they're contemplating suicide and point number two if God is willing to settle what you bargain for God is willing to give us God is willing to give you for whatever you ask him tonight if Abraham if only Abraham would have gone down to five the city Sodom and Gomorrah would have been spared today God is awaiting your and my prayer today God is waiting for you on a story of Abraham and Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah God clearly shows us a picture that God is interested in your opinion in my opinion God is interested in your desire God is interested for your concern but is your concern your city what are you willing to ask God tonight for we're asking as a church for thousands locally and millions globally we believe that God has chosen us and raised us up for such a time as this to rescue our generation, to set our people free, to bring hope to the hopeless, to bring healing to those that are sick, to bring salvation to those that are lost. Today I want to ask you, are you concerned for our city? And what are you willing to ask for today? I invite you to pray with us today to ask God for thousands locally and millions globally. I invite you to ask God that thousands and thousands of people will be set free from drugs. Thousands of people 
will be healed from incurable diseases. That thousands of people will find hope and thousands of people in our city will find Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice right now together with us and begin to find that place in your heart. Begin to find that concern in your heart for our city. And let's begin to pray and cry out before God. Let's begin to ask, lest our city will be destroyed by what Satan is doing in our city. Lest our city will be destroyed by sin, by immorality in it. Because sin in itself is destructive. But if God comes, if God will come and intervene on our behalf as we pray, God will show His mercy. God will show His grace. He will pour out His Spirit on all flesh and we will see salvation in Jesus' mighty name.